Hi, my name is Eliana Baltzar, and my driving question this semester was, how do fractions relate to musical notes? Let's find out! I have learned a lot about musical notes, and I want to share what I have learned. I have learned that there are lots of ways that fractions relate to musical notes. Some ways that they relate are through the time signature, the types of notes, and note beats. Whoa! One of the ways that fractions relate to musical notes is in the time signature. In music, I use time signatures to tell me how many beats are in each measure and what kind of note gets the beat. For example, in a 4-4 time signature, the top note tells me that there are four beats in each measure and the bottom note tells me how the beats are divided. In 4-4 time, this quarter note gets the beat because a quarter note is one-fourth of a measure. That leads me to the second thing I have learned, types of notes. While I learned several years ago about note names, I understood notes for the first time this year. There are many kinds of notes, but the notes that I am going to tell you about in this video are called whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes. Let's use math in a real life fraction example. This is a whole pie, but there is a problem. There are two people who need a piece of this one pie, so I need to cut it. I divide the pie into half, but then wait, two more people show up. Now I can divide this pie into four pieces, but oh no, four more people show up. So now I need to cut each large piece that I just cut into two smaller pieces so that I can have a total of eight pieces, one for each person. A whole pie can be divided into eight equal pieces, just like a whole note can be divided into eight equal beats called eighth notes. Imagine that these Legos are notes. This is a whole note. A whole note can be divided into two half notes. A half note can be divided into two quarter notes. So here are one, two, three, four quarter notes. A quarter note can be divided into two eighth notes. So here are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight eighth notes. They all make up one measure of four beats. Here is another way to look at the Legos. This is a measure. A measure ends where the line is. This is the time signature. And this is a whole note. The whole note gets counted 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 in. The time signature told us that there are four beats in a measure. So, four quarter notes will fit into this measure. One fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth equals one whole note. Another way that notes can fit into this measure is by using two half notes. Two half notes equal one whole note. Still another note pattern could be one half note and two quarter notes. One half plus one fourth plus one fourth equals one whole note. When two eighth notes are next to each other, they look like this. One eighth note has the count one, and the second eighth note has the count and. So together they make the beat of one and. If I have four eighth notes, then I can count one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth note plus another eighth note plus a half note equals one whole note, or four beats. is everywhere in music and fractions are all around me from math to dividing things between my friends and I so that I know how to give the even amount to others. Knowing fractions in math helps me to understand fractions in music as well. 
I hope this project helps you to see how fractions relate to music and how helpful they are to know. I'm still learning about music and will be for a long time. Bye, thanks for watching.